Well, howdy, partner. There's a reason why Howard County, Maryland is known as one of the best places to live in the United States. Beneath its idiotic surface lies a treasure trove of secrets waiting to be uncovered. From its hidden trails and scenic vistas, its charming small towns and vibrant cultural scene, there's something special about Howard County that sets it apart from the rest. Join me as we delve into the secrets of Howard County and discover why it's not just a great place to live, but a place to capture your soul. So check out these 10 things that you need to know about Howard County if you're planning on moving out to Maryland. That's because if you don't want to move to Baltimore City, too much of a wild west down there because of the crime. <laughs> Hello, I'm John Ruckman, better known as the Charm City Property Dude. And if you're looking for an expert in real estate, Baltimore real estate, I'm your guy. With 18 years experience, I can keen eye for the market. I've helped countless people find their dream homes in Charm City and the surrounding area. But today, I'm not here just to talk about real estate. I'm here to share my secrets, both in business and in life. And trust me, you won't want to miss a single moment. From the invaluable tips on entrepreneurship to the insider knowledge of the Baltimore market, this video has it all. And if it's not enough, make sure you stick around to the very end. I've got a surprise in store that you don't want to miss. Well, hey there. So first, Howard County's location is located in Central Maryland, part of Baltimore, Washington metropolitan area, and is bordered between Montgomery County to the south, and Anne Arundel County to the east, and Baltimore County to the north, and Baltimore City to the north. Number two, the population as of 2020, the estimated population of Howard County was around 33,000 people. It's the fifth most populous county in Maryland. Number three, education. Howard County has an excellent public school system, consistently ranking as one of the top performing districts in all of Maryland, and also so several prestigious private schools. And number four, Howard County has a mix of housing options, including single family, townhouses, apartments, and a medium home value in a county is around 500,000. Number five, transportation. Howard County is well connected to the major transportation routes including Interstates 95, 70, and 695, also served by the MTA bus system and the Mark Train Service. Number six, Parks and Recreation. Howard County has over 50 parks and recreational areas, including the popular Centennial Park, the Tapsico Valley State Park, perfect for all kinds of fishing. Now, my personal favorite is cast an ultralight line with a black rooster tail and catching smallmouth bass in the streams. The county is jot full of those streams. The county also has home of several large golf courses and sporting event complexes. Number seven, let's talk about diversity. Howard County is a diverse community with a mix of ethnicities and cultures represented. It's also home of several religious institutions, including mosques, synagogues, and churches. Number eight, Howard County has a strong job market with a mix of industries represented, including healthcare, technology, government, and major employers in the area include John Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, in the Howard County Public School System. Number nine, no shortage of these. Shopping and dining. Howard County has a variety of shopping and dining options, including several malls and shopping centers, as well as independent restaurants and eateries. Yummy. And 10, arts and culture. Howard County's a thriving arts scene with several galleries and performance places, including the Howard County Center for the Arts, the Meriwether Post Pavilion, a popular outdoor concert venue, I might add, and the county also hosts several cultural festivals throughout the year. And that is the 10 things I think you need to know about Howard County. Now, after all, this is just a thousand foot overview. I will dive a little deeper into each one of these coming up next. I want to thank you very much for checking out the video. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button.